Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we have a real treat for you, a new Blender XML exporter and a PV3D XML primitive. Now, this is super cool, and a many thanks to Dennis Ippel. Uh, he actually created an AS3 uh, Blender exporter. It, it would ex export a AS3 class, which took a little work to bring into PaperVision, and we were able to rewrite that Python code and create an XML exporter which exports XML from Blender and an XML primitive which sucks up that XML and it acts just like any primitive in space but it takes on the characteristics of whatever object you modeled in Blender. This is really super cool and it makes it really easy for my uh, designers to use. I'm going to talk about how to use it and how it was designed today. So let's come down a little bit. This is from my blog. So if you want to take a look at the full post you can go to uh, www.professionalvaporvision.com dot wordpress dot com and look at the post on new blender xml exporter pv3 xml primitive and if you just pan down through that you're going to see lots of cool cool stuff that we've created for you to look at and actually get moving on this xml code now we originally created this whole uh, scenario to build widgets for a virtual physics lab that we were creating and we wanted a way to build these widgets widgets rapidly and to actually get them into paper vision and moving around and this actually is that solution so let's click on this and this widget has no texture so it's going to look kind of funny we'll take a look at it real quick and here it is it's just a rotating disk with a color so you can assign any color that you want to the different uh, things you create but we don't want to do that we actually want to have textures on these so they actually look more attractive well let me show you our texture example so here's a cruiser or ship that we created in blender on, over here on the uh, left hand side and here's this texture map so let's click on this and take a look at that code and there's our rotating textured ship in paper vision and reacting just like a primitive you can translate it you can rotate it you can scale it just all the things you do with a regular primitive the only thing you can't do with these uh, primitives XML primitives brought in from blender is to put a shade on them and we're gonna take a look at that in the future but for now this works for us and we're gonna be using this in a number of applications and the uh, websites that we're building well the first thing I did is really a simple development process the first thing I did is I actually went to uh, uh, Dennis Ipel site and I grabbed his XML uh, Python code and I brought that code right into Flex. So here I am in Flex and this is the AS3 uh, export Python code and I just open it up with the text editor. So you just go uh, open with text editor. Let's bring that up so you can see that. I went all the way to the top there but go open with text editor and then open it right up in Flex and you can just start editing in Flex and that's exactly what I did. Basically if you take a look at Dennis's code uh, he creates a whole series of uh, expressions to export a class and we just need to change that to export XML and so that's exactly what I did and uh, if you bring up my new example and we'll right click on what I call XML export and we'll open that with a text editor and you can see what I've done I've taken basically Peter's example and I've modified it and I just put in took out the class tags and I stuck in the XML tags and there you can see XML tags for faces and parameters and uh, pretty much just kind of rewrote the code however I needed to to get it uh, working with these XML tags and exporting the XML that I needed and it runs just like Dennis's code does so let's go ahead now and take a look and see how we built the uh, primitive for uh, paper vision now the XML primitive is just like any other primitive in paper vision you go to org paper vision and go down to the primitives uh, folder and inside that you have you have something called XML primitive click on that I'm going to bring that code up and it looks just like any other primitive in paper vision what with a few changes I have the import statements here I have the XML primitive built on triangle mesh just like any other primitive in uh, paper vision and you go down a little bit and I pretty much just defined two uh, variables here and that is the uh, string for the file and the material that we'll be bringing into the uh, function and you come down here and you have it something that's different to, than other primitives that you have in paper vision you actually have an XML importer so we're going to actually import that code using a URL loader use the uh, URL request we're going to load that code and then we're going to parse that code and that's pretty much all there is to this particular piece of code and you go down to get primitive uh, function and here's my builds I call it build cylinder and uh, we come down here there's two pieces I need to build I need to grab the vertices and parse those and grab the faces and parse those and once I grab the faces and, and vertices I pretty much just load all the vertices into a vertice array and I push all those vertices into a face don't you like that and that's pretty much all there is to 
there's two types of function here. There's an F2, which handles only vertices, which is pretty much the X, Y, and Z vertices. And then there's an F, which handles the uh, textured vertices. So you can see you've got the UV map as you pretty long function here. There's about 12 uh, variables here in order to handle that UV mapping. And so pretty much that's all there is to it. When you export it in Blender, the, X the XML export gives you basically a variable that tells you if you're using uh, basically non-textured or textured. And then the function that you need is grabbed here. And that's pretty much pushed into the faces. And the geometrical figure is created just like any other primitive in paper vision. The only difference here is it's all coming from an XML import. So let's go to Blender and see how this works.